Um, thanks for joining me uh, for this flower. Um, this is a layered sequence, so there's about three layers to it, so we'll always come back to the beginning um, and repeat each layer so that the body has a chance to recognize and take the information of the movement in and then um, function with that information as you go through the layers so that it kind of feels nicer and for you and your awareness you can be a bit more embodied in the movement and the feeling rather than anticipating with the mind what is going to come next and next and next and next. Um, so yeah, I really like to move like this through my practice practices. Um, so yeah, I hope you, that you enjoy it too. Um, yeah, when you're ready, you can come into uh, a comfortable seat or a child's pose. Um, we're going to just connect to the breath for the first few moments and arrive in the body. So when you're ready, just take a moment to close down the eyes and bring your awareness to your body. Just taking a moment to notice how you feel occupying space. And then bring the awareness to the seat that you're in. So if you're in a child's pose or a comfortable seat, just notice the connection of your body on the ground beneath you. What areas of your body are connected. And allow your weight to drop into this connection so that you become heavier on the ground. A sense of allowing yourself to be held more fully here. And then bring your awareness to your body breathing. So the breath that is already there before you bring any sense of control to the breath. Just notice how your body is breathing. And then very, very slowly we'll begin to deepen the breath. So begin with an exhale and empty your lungs. Just begin by getting all the air out of the body. And then allow your inhale to fill up gradually through your belly, through your torso, into your back, all the way up through into the crown of your head. And then exhale again with control, let it release from your body slowly so that you can really feel the graduation of this softening that comes through you. And then we'll go again, inhaling deep. Getting the sense of filling up with fresh breath, fresh oxygen. And then exhaling slowly, just releasing, letting go, softening, all the way to empty. Lovely, last one, inhale deep. And this time we'll exhale through the mouth. And just witness the effects of the breath 
even after it's left your body. And then bring your breath into a rhythm that feels comfortable and useful for how you're feeling today. Try not to create a breath that causes tension within your body. So if you've gone for something quite deep and vigorous and maybe, and that's making your body feel kind of tense around your shoulders or in your jaw perhaps, then just change the breath to something slightly softer and recognize that your breath may change throughout your practice and that's okay. And then once you feel you've made this connection to your breath, you're just going to, if you're not already there, bring yourself into a child's pose at the back of your mat. And we'll just start by giving this child pose some movement. So you can allow a wiggle to come through your hips. If your forehead is rested on the ground, then you can have a roll over the forehead from side to side. You can get the shoulders rolling as well. We just initiate some movement in the child's pose so that we start identifying how the body is feeling, feeling through movement. Okay, and then when you're ready, you're going to come back to sit on your heels. If that's super uncomfortable, you can use a block underneath your hips. Or you can support yourself in any other way. But we're going to take an inhale, lift up through the fingertips. And then bring the palms together, bring the elbows together, bring the forearms in front of the face. And then as you exhale, open the elbows out wide so you're cactusing your arms and just allow your heart space to open as you gently squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then as you inhale, just pull your belly in, round through your spine, bring the forearms back together and dip the chin to the chest. I'm going to do that again. This time we're going to inhale, open. Use an exhale just to squeeze and pause through the back of the heart. And then inhale, bring the elbows together and round through the upper back. Have an exhale there as well. Good. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. But squeeze, relaxing the shoulders down. And then inhale, bring the elbows together. Breathe into the shoulder blades and then exhale, just relax the head. Good, one more of those, inhale, open that. On your next inhale, bring it back together, round, heavy in through the belly and then take an exhale there as well. You can shake up through the head. Good, and then inhale, lift up onto the knees. And exhale, land your hands all the way down into all fours. I like my hands a bit further forward on my shoulders. We're just going to take some hip circles here. So with the hands being a bit further forward of the shoulders and the knees nice and wide on the mat, you can give yourself um, access to kind of bigger, bigger movements through the hips. Remember, please don't go into anything um, too much too soon. We're going to repeat these movements so we allow the repetition to open the body rather than any kind of force. Change the direction of your circles. If you're feeling good in your pelvis, you can exaggerate that move of the pelvis forward. So you're kind of flirting with a back bend. but we're not holding anything. Okay, and then when you're ready, find the center in your all fours, maybe bring your knees closer together, but feel stability through 
your foundations, and then we'll take it through some spinal waves. So we'll begin by lifting the tailbone and the chin so you come through that cow shape. Keep that shape, spread the hips nice and wide, push them back towards your heels. And then on your inhale, draw the belly in, round through your spine, hugging your tailbone down. Bring the shoulders forward over the wrists. And then as the breath changes, the shape changes. So we exhale, hips spread wide, melting all the way back through the heart space and the spine. And then inhaling, rounding forward. And exhaling, bending back. And we'll just do one more of those. Lovely. And then this time round all the way forward. Keep rounding forward. Keep gazing to your navel and slowly pour the thighs onto the ground, the pelvis down, you bend your elbows and then land your belly down. Good. And then sprinkle your fingertips wide off your mat. If you can be on fingertips, that's great. If not, flat hands is fine. But get the hands nice and wide off the mat. Get the feet wide as well. Press down through the legs and through the pubic bone and rise up through your heart centre. And then from here we're going to take circular cobra. So we pull the heart towards the right side. We're pushing through the fingertips to lift up through the left side. And we'll do a couple of circles this way round. Lovely. And then pause in the centre, take a breath there. And then three circles to the left. And again, reminding the legs to stay switched on, the glutes to stay switched on, so that your anchor point in this movement is the pubic bone pushing down. The pelvis is super firm in that connection to the ground. Lovely. And then when you meet the centre again, take a pause. Take a moment to breathe into your heart space. And then exhale to release. You're going to slide it all the way back into a child's pose and take a full breath in to the base of your spine. You can exhale through the mouth if that feels useful for you. And then again, start to wiggle through your hips. So we're going to repeat that and then add on the next layer of our, of our sequence. So just wiggling through the hips, noticing what's changed. Maybe you can start to exaggerate this wiggle. Maybe you take the wiggle onto all fours. However you want to play with this is up to you. There's no right or wrong way for you to be moving. And then when you're ready, we're going to lift up onto the knees and we'll take that opening through the chest and the shoulders. So we'll inhale, lift up through the fingertips, bring the forearms together as you exhale. And then this time we'll just do it through one breath. So we'll inhale, open the elbows, draw the shoulder blades together, lift up through the chin if you feel comfortable, and then exhale round, pull the belly in, round the spine, drop the head. Good, inhale, open that. And exhale around it. Good. Inhale, open. And exhale around. Good. Inhale, lift up onto your knees. Exhale, land your hands down. We'll take a couple of big hip circles in one direction. And a couple in the other direction. Good. And then when you're ready, we'll dissolve that into the spinal waves. Just rounding forward and bending back. And these waves will gradually begin to feel different as the body and the spine warms up. So just taking your time with the movement first. So that you really allow the breath to be the main guide here.
Lovely, let's do one more rounding all the way forward. And then melting the heart as you go back. Good. We'll round all the way forward, shoulders come over the wrists. And then exhale, we'll watch the navel as you pull the thighs down. As the pelvis lands, lift up through the chin and the chest, bend the elbows, and then pull the heart down. Lovely, sprinkle the fingertips wide, land your feet nice and wide, push down through your pubic bone, rise up through your heart, glutes engaged here, we'll do one big circle to the right side. Pushing through the fingertips, feeling that activation through the shoulder blades. And then one big circle to the left side. Lovely. Take a pause in the centre, grip the toenails, pull the pubic bone forward as well as pushing it down and pull the hands back and wide. And then just take a breath into your heart centre. Exhale to release. We'll take a shoulder opener from here, slide your right fingertips out to the side so that your wrist is in line with your shoulder. Bend your left knee, look to the left and then gently roll onto that right shoulder head. Your left foot lands in a comfortable position, so maybe forward of the right leg, maybe behind, maybe on top. You can take the left hand behind the back, or you can just gently add some pressure into the left fingertips. And then try and reach the breath up into your collarbones. So that you're just allowing the breath to find the space through the front body. Every exhale, allow the shoulder blades to soften towards one another. Lovely, and then when you're ready, we're going to roll it back to the belly and we'll do the left side. So left fingertips out to the side, wrist in line with your shoulder, this time look to the right, bend the right knee, push and roll over to the left. Find a comfortable position and then either take right hand behind your back or gently add some weight into the fingertips. And then just finding the breath, move it into the space of opening that you can feel. Let things soften as you exhale. Lovely. And then when you're ready, roll it all the way back. Good. And then from here, we're going to take a roll into Janu Shashasana. So I'm going to place the hands underneath the chest. I'm going to bend the left knee. I'm going to push through the fingertips and roll over to the, the right side so that I'm facing the back of the mat and my left knee is bent wide and my right leg is long. And then from here, I'm going to kiss my plants, <laughs> but from here I'm going to take spiral, spiral waves. So I lift up through the chest, roll the shoulders back so the heart space is open. Keep the openness of my heart and pull the heart all the way down. Now to come back up, I'm drawing the navel and the ribs in and looking towards the navel to round it back up. So the same principle as the spinal waves on all fours. Inhale, lifting up and open and then pouring all the way down as you exhale. And then rounding back up on that inhale. Using the top of the inhale to open the chest, draw the shoulders back and then exhale, pouring all the way forward. We'll do this a couple of times. Lovely. And then from here, we're just going to find a gentle hug of the hips. So we lift the left knee in towards the centre. Interlace the fingers around that knee. Draw it wide of your ribcage towards your armpit and then ground your left sit bone down. And don't worry if this isn't super intense. Not everything we move through has to um, make the body scream. This can be nice and subtle, but just let your spine grow from here. Let the shoulders move away from the ears, feel that length through the neck. And then maybe you've got a slight pinching sensation in that left hip, just breathe into that. Lovely, okay. And then we're gonna use this position to come into a downward facing dog across the mat. So I'm gonna reach my hands over 
to the right, so I come across the mat, and I'm going to push into this left foot that's on the ground, pick up the hips, and then sweep the right foot underneath, and you'll be in a downward facing dog across your mat. So I'm just going to pedal out through the legs, through the ankles, give the downward dog some movement, give it some breath. Again, just tuning into how it's feeling today. And then we'll take it through some spinal waves from here. If you need to land your knees down and do this from an all fours position, please feel welcome to do that. If you're doing it from the down dog position, you'll be with me. So we're going to inhale, lift the heels, pull the belly in, round all the way forward. Shoulders come over the wrists. And then exhale, bend the knees, lift the tailbone, find that cow shape through the spine and melt the hips and the heart all the way back. And then we're going to do that again. Inhale, round forward, hug the tailbone down to the heels, pull the belly in nice and firm. And then exhale, bend the knees, let everything soften and melt all the way back. Good, last one with breath, inhale, round forward. And exhale, melt it back. Good. Okay, and then from here, lift up through your heels, start to find a bounce through your knees. Good, and then spring your right toes away from the ground, so the left knee stays bouncing, and then push from the left bent knee and bring your right knee to your right upper arm. So you're in a turbo plank. Just have a breath there, push into the hands around the upper back, squeeze through the belly, and then sweetly land the right foot towards the top of your mat, on your mat. And then press and step your left foot to the back of your mat. So you're on your mat now in a passerita, wide leg fold. Okay, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, melt the heart towards the knees. And we're just gonna wave the spine a couple of times like this. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften the heart. Feel free to keep a soft bend in the knees if you Feel your hamstrings are talking to you loudly. One more, exhale, heart down. Lovely, and then bending into your left knee. See, I'm letting the toes turn with me. I'm just gonna take some, a few bounces through the hips. So as we come through the repetition of this, we can make this a little bit more challenging, but as I'm still warming up through the body, I'm just gonna keep my hands on the ground for support there. Okay. Okay, and then from here, at the back of my mat in the left knee, and then I'm gonna to turn towards the top of the mat and find a low lunge, sinking the back knee down. And then inhale, scoop the air up. And as I exhale, let the pelvis soften and just dangle the right fingertips towards the ground so I come into a side reach. And then from there, pull the left fingertips forward and round and then lift up again through the pelvis, through the fingertips. Exhale, take it into a lean. And then sweep it forward and round. Reach fingertips forward and up. Lift the pelvis. Exhale, one more. Lovely. And from there, place the hands down, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and then you can challenge yourself here, maybe lifting up through the back heel, see if you can lift your front foot off the ground, and then step it back into the downward facing dog, otherwise just slide it all the way back there. <sighs> Give that downward dog some movement, have a cleansing breath, in through your nose, out through your mouth. And then we'll take it through a waving vinyasa. Inhale, lift the heels, round all the way forward. Come into that hollow body high plank position. Keep gazing towards the navel as you gently lower the pelvis towards the wrist. Squeeze the glutes, bend the elbows, draw the shoulders back, breathe into the heart space. And then exhale. 
into a child's pose. And this time you can stack your hands or bring your hands into a prayer position so you can soften your head down. And just take a moment to come back into the sensational experience here. So noticing what the movement has stirred up in the body. Noticing the sensations that the movement's created. Noticing how it's changed your energy. And then noticing how you can respond to these changes through the language of your breath. So what kind of breath is serving you in this moment? Lovely. And then staying with that breath that feels useful, just start to wiggle through the hips. And we're going to do that on the other side. So we're wiggling through the hips. And then when it feels right for you, you're going to come into those hip circles on the hands and the knees. Good, and then you can allow that to change into the spinal waves when you're ready. Finding the cow shape as you press the hips back. Rounding the angry cat shape as you bring yourself forward. And again, just feeling into this movement for yourself. We're all going to look and feel different with everything that we do. So it's just really finding that tuning in, that internal connection, rather than concerning too much about how you look, whether you're doing it right or wrong, tune into the feeling of moving through the body and the spine like this. Okay, when you're ready, round all the way forward, draw the belly in, keep looking towards the navel as you core the thighs down, bend the elbows, to land the chest down, and then we'll take it back into the circular cobra. So fingertips can go wide again, feet wide, anchor the pubic bone down, rise the heart. And then you can pull to the left side this time. Do a nice big circle. And then take it to the right. And then find the centre and just have a breath. Good. And then when you're ready, release your heart forward and down. And we're going to take a shoulder opener, but this time we're going to cactus the arm. So it's the same as before, but we're cactusing the arm. So I'll show you for the left side first. The elbow comes out to the side in that kind of right angle shape. The elbow is in line with the shoulder this time, and the forearm is flat to the ground. The right knee bends, I look to the right, I gently roll onto the left side. This might feel a little bit more intense for some of us. You can just breathe into that intensity. This time I'm going to keep the right fingertips down, just add gentle amounts of pressure. But try to really soften the left shoulder head. And again, infusing the breath into that conversation with your body. Lovely, we'll take one more breath here. And then slowly roll it back. And then you can move the fingers of the left hand to release that before we do the right side. Right elbow in line with your shoulder, forearm flat to the ground. Left knee is bending this time, looking to the left, rolling to the right. And again, just adding small amounts of pressure into that left hand and keep softening through the right shoulder. And really it's the breath that's helping me ease into this. So I'm not forcing, pushing into the right shoulder, I'm just using the exhale to soften through those layers of holding and gripping, those sensational layers that kind of protect 
before they let go. Get one more breath. And then rolling it back when you're ready. Give the right fingers a wiggle. Good, and then bring the hands underneath the chest. And then this time I'm gonna to roll to the left. So I'm bending the right knee and rolling into the Johnny Shashasana. So push the chest up, I roll over, the right knee lands wide and the left leg is long. And I'm not staying in that traditional square shape of Johnny Shashasana. I've got my legs spread wide. And then this way I can get a bit more into my inner thighs and I can have a bit, a bit fluid and grounded, fluid through the spine and grounded through the sit bones. So we'll take it back into those spinal waves. Inhale, lift up through the chest, draw the shoulders back and then exhale, chin and heart, lengthen forward and down. Inhale, tuck everything in, round it all the way back up, gaze into the navel. The top of the inhale, find that lift of the heart space. And then exhale, pour it all the way down again. And then we'll do a couple more of these, rounding up, inhale. And pouring down the exhale. Lovely last one. Good, and as you rise through the centre this time, bring the right knee into the centre. We'll take that hug of the hip. So the sit bone grounds down, the knee draws in, the spine grows taller with that pull of your knee in. And just let the shoulders soften. So the pull is coming from the biceps. Allow the crown of the head to lift and feel that spaciousness of your ears away from your shoulders. So the neck is just allowing some freedom to come through here. Okay, and then from there, inhaling, lifting the hands up, cross them to the other side of the mat. As you land them down, we're pushing into the right foot now, and then picking up the hips, and then stepping the left foot underneath. So I'm in a downward facing dog, with my bum towards the screen. Lucky guys. <laughs> and then I'm just giving, the downward dog will wiggle. Giving it some movement, giving it some breath. And then we're going to take it through those three spinal waves. And we're going to inhale, lift the heels again. Remember, you can land the knees down, round all the way forward, bend the knees. This is where you can land them down if you need to. Find your cow shape when you're ready and press the hips all the way back. Good. Inhale, rounding forward. Exhale, belly soft, spine dips, pressing the hips back. Good, last one, inhale, round forward. And exhale, melt it back. Good, stay high on your tiptoes. Find that bounce, that slight pulse up and down through the hips, bending in and out the knees. And we're going to find the turbo plank. So I bend the knees, I float the left toes. The right knee stays bouncing. As the right knee bends, I push from the right toes and bring the left knee to the left upper arm. And then I'm pushing down into the hands and drawing the belly in. And just feeling that heat rise through the body. And then stepping the left foot on the mat. And then stepping the right foot on the mat so we're in that Wide leg forward fold again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pull the heart down. We've well, got two more of those. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pull the heart down. Lovely, and last one. Good, and then when you're ready, finding those hip glides. So if you're already kind of feeling a bit warmer in the body, then you can maybe play around with lifting the hands away from the ground, maybe exploring pause in one side, dropping the hips down. Maybe you feel there's too much pressure on the knees, yeah? And you need the hands on the ground. Try to be very mindful of the knees. Try not to let the knees fall into the center, but keep them wide. 
Try and allow most of the weight be through your heels. So if you're feeling like your heels are lifted and you're in the toes, then just lift the hips a bit higher and don't go so deep. The heel staying grounded here means that we're really activating through the back of the legs and not placing too much weight in the, in the knees. When you're ready, pause at the back of the mat and then glide yourself all the way forward to the front of the mat, We're sinking the back knee down, inhaling the arms lift up with the pelvis. And then we're taking it into that side reach and sweep forward. So as I exhale, the pelvis goes softer, left fingertips dangle towards the ground, and then right fingertips lean over and reach forward and around. And then inhale, lift all the way up. Lift the pelvis up. Exhale, take it into the side reach. And then sweep forward and round. And we've got one more of those. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely. From there, we've got a little visitor again. From there, press the hands down. Step it back into your downward facing dog. So you've got that option to lift the foot again. If you're feeling it, you can lift the left foot, sweep it all the way back, downward dog, or just glide it back there however you wish. Let's take a cleansing breath together. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Lovely, and again, inhale through your nose. This time, give it a sigh, exhale. Ah. Good, inhale, lift the heels slowly round forward, hollow body high plank. Exhale, pull the pelvis to the wrist, upward facing dog. You can give it a wiggle, give it some breath. And then land your knees, and we're gonna slink it all the way back and find the child's pose, taking a pause, stack the hands, rest the forehead. And again, just drop into how you're feeling in your body now. So we've got one more round and we're going to repeat everything we've done and then we're going to add on the final part of our sequence. And again, nothing is too intense. Again, we can take our time. You know roughly where you're going now. So you can allow that repetition to just allow yourself to be in the feeling of the body a bit more. So there's nothing new coming. We're going to stay with what we've done and use that repetition to just unfold some more layers. Yeah. Okay, so if you're in, you're in your child's pose and you're just going to begin with that sway of the hips from side to side. Okay, and then coming up onto the knees. I think I forgot this last round, but anyway, coming up onto the knees, inhale, lift up through the fingertips. Exhale, forearms together. Good, inhale, open, lift the chest. Maybe lift the chin if the head feels safe. And then exhale. Round, drop the chin. Good, two more with breath, inhale, open. Gentle hug of those shoulder blades together. And then exhale, rounding, just feeling the upper back round, shoulder blades separate away from the spine. Good, last one, inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale, lift up onto the knees. Exhale, land the hands down. Let's take it back into those hip circles. So this round, my hips are kind of feeling a bit more open, a bit more fluid now. 
So I'm, I'm feeling good to kind of exaggerate that hip circle and come a bit more into the flirtation with the upward facing dog. Before that didn't feel quite right for the hip flexors. So now I'm just taking advantage of the repetition and knowing where I can go a bit deeper. So playing around in each direction and then when you're ready just slinking it fluidly, organically, changing it into your spinal waves. I'll give you slightly less instruction this round so that you can really just tune in and feel into your own rhythm and practice. Good. When it feels right for you, we pull down onto the belly. And you're just using that slow unfurling of the spine, landing the thighs, bending the elbows to land the pelvis, landing the heart down. And then you can you can come a bit narrow with the finger bit tips this time. This just means the closer the hands, the more acutely the spine has to bend. I don't like them too close to the Cobra circles, make sure the legs are strong, pubic bones down, and then one circle in one direction. And then one circle in the other direction. And the pause in the center. We strengthen through the legs, squeeze the glutes and push the pubic bone down and pull it forward to the top of your mat. At the same time, pull your hands back and wide and just breathe there. Lovely, and then slowly release. So here you can choose which shoulder opening you'd like to do. You can either do the straight arm or cactus the arm. I'm going to cactus the arm on the left side first. Elbow in line with the shoulder, but you can do the straight arm if you want to. Then the right knee to roll over to the left. Let that left shoulder soften. And then when you're ready, just rolling all the way back. And we'll do the other side. I have my tiny dog in the way, but he looks so peaceful in the sun, so we just let him be. Lovely, one more breath here. I'm rolling back. Hands come underneath the shoulders, so we're pushing into that Janu roll. We're going to bend the left knee, push open through the chest, roll over to the right side. Left knee goes wide, right leg, right leg is long. And then you can take it through those spinal waves again. You know, this is uh, the kind of last round that we're going to do. So you may feel, you know, I'm soft here, I'm good here. I might just want to soften down into a forward fold and have a breath. You might come into a, a side reach. You could play around. You don't have to be in a certain position. You can have a feel, maybe do some circles through the torso. Do something you like, something you know. You could take the hand behind come into a kind of supported wild thing. But uh, just have, um, you know, give yourself permission to have, have freedom to play and feel. And know that whatever you're doing is, is, is right. It's, you, ha you can trust yourself. Good, a couple more breaths here. And then we'll just bring that left knee into the center, have a squeeze of the knee in, a ground of the sit bones down, a lift up, lengthening the spine, shoulders soft. 
And then the hands reach all the way up and over to the right, opposite side of the mat. And I kind of slide them forward, so I'm reaching, push into the left foot, right foot steps underneath, find the downward dog. And then again, just invite some freedom to move if you want to take it through the spinal waves or maybe through a vinyasa here, you can. Maybe you want to make it a bit more soft and just stay with some wiggles in the downward dog, it's up to you. Okay, when you're ready, you kind of play around, find a lift up onto your tiptoes, a bounce through your knees. We're going to take it into that slight intensity of turbo, springing from the left toes, right foot, right knee comes to right upper arm, push around the upper back, back leg is super strong, heel of the right foot is hugging in, belly squeezing in, ribs in, and then land, right foot down. Left foot down on the mat. And then we'll inhale, halfway lift. Now, this time just take a pause in that halfway lift. Press the inside seam of the feet down and spread your inner thighs wide. And then keep that as your exhale melts the heart down. We'll do that again, inhale, halfway lift. Really roll into the balls of your feet and then exhale, heart down. Good, inhale, halfway lift. And then we'll take it into our hip glide so you can bring the hands together. You can drop into the hips all the way down if you've got the opening. You can get the toes lifting so the heels are working. You can have a play around. We're going to add on a posture here, just an opening for the inner thighs. So when you're ready, come into the center and turn the heels in and the toes slightly out and then bring the forearms to the insides of the thighs. And then just pressing your knees super wide, let your hips stick out. Let your tailbone lift and your chest lift so you feel a micro bend through your spine, back muscles engaging. And then get some breath into that opening through the adductors there. Lovely. And then sink the hips to the back of the mat. When you're ready, glide yourself forward. This time we'll find the low lunge. Inhale, the arms lift up. Exhale, take the right fingertips down. Take a lean over to the right. Sweep it forward and round. And then inhale, lift up again. Exhale, take it into the lean. Sweep forward and round. Inhale, lift. Lovely. Exhale, lean. And this time we'll just pause here. So keep the navel drawn in to lift the heart space. Let your hips sink soft, soften and forward and down. But be mindful of the back body here. Lovely. This time sweep forward and round. Now you can use fingertips on the ground here to support you. We're going to take an add-on into our flow. We're going to pick up the back knee. If you want more of a challenge, lift the hands. Shift all of the weight forward into your right foot and float your back toes. Warrior three. And then you can keep your hands lifted. You might bring them down, but we're going to take it into standing splits. Again, if you want the challenge, fingertips are gripping behind the right calf muscle. And then let your wobbles just be there. Try to focus deeply on the breath. Lovely. Slowly bend into your right knee, bring your left knee in towards your belly. And we're sending that left heel forward in standing balance. Good, squeeze the thigh, lift the crown of the head. One more breath. Beautiful, and then slower than you want to, we'll step it back to a lunge. Lean forward through the heart, back through the toes, bend the right knee to land delicately behind you. Inhale, the arms lift all the way up. 
high lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together and then land the left hand to the top left corner of your mat. Good, we can take it through a side plank here. So we'll turn the toes out to the right. You can sweep the right foot behind or stack it on top of the left. If you're good, you can lift your right knee high, right arm high. Maybe you can straighten through that leg. Keep pushing that base hand forward. So the base hand and the base foot are pushing away from one another. And then we'll sweetly, delicately land your right toes behind. Bend your knees. Get your feet grounded to drive your pelvis up towards the sky. So you come into your wild thing. And you can have a breath there. Maybe take it into full wheel if that is feeling yummy available, good. Don't force. Good, and then when you're ready, you can come back. Downward facing dog. Cleanse it through breath. <sighs> Take a waving vinyasa in your own time. Keep a micro bend in those elbows and lock out through the joints. And then just glide it back into your child's pose. <sighs> Notice how you're feeling in your body now. Notice the kind of breath that serves the feeling in the body. And then we've got one more round on the other side. So when you're ready to begin again, give the hips a wiggle, give that child's pose some movement. And then we'll lift up onto the knees. Take an inhale, lift up through the fingertips. Exhale, forearms together. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round. Let's just do one more inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale, lift up onto the knees. Exhale through the mouth, land the hands down. Find a few hip circles, wash out those hips, those sensations, the lower back. Good, and then we'll take it through the spinal waves. Again, less instruction and just more of you moving on your own. So we're knowing where are we going to go? We're going to go onto the belly next. Whenever you're ready to take it, there you can. And as you come onto the belly, you'll take the hands into the position for this cobra circles. Anchor the legs, anchor the pubic bone. One circle in each direction. Pause in the center. And then exhale to release. Yeah, and then this time I'm just gonna miss out the shoulder opener. You're welcome to do it if you want to, but I'm gonna miss it out, just come into the Janu Shishasu. So hands underneath the chest and bend the right knee this time, push the chest up, roll over to the right or to the left, <laughs> and then we're right knee wide, left leg long, good. And again, you can come back into those spinal waves, you might come into a forward fold, you might play around, do what, do what you did on the other side, have a side reach, maybe back into that kind of wild thing. 
But yeah, and really get curious as to what you feel you need through your practice so that your practice is really about serving your body and not, you know, moving from this mind space of, oh, I should do that and I should do this. It's more about a listening, a deep internal listening, like how can I move that allows me to serve what my body needs. And that way, you know, your practice doesn't have to look um, any certain way. So just take a few more breaths in whatever exploration you're in. Lovely. Then when you're ready to come out, hug your right knee in. Take a moment just to grow your spine. And then we'll take the hands up, across the mat, to the other side, reach them forward, press into the right foot, step the left foot underneath, find your downward dog. And then again, you've got that freedom to explore movement, maybe come through a vinyasa. Maybe not. And then when you're ready, lifting the heels, bouncing the knees. We'll take it back into the turbo. So the left toes lift, the right foot bend, the knee bends and pushes from the foot to bring the left knee forward. And then super strong, keep your right leg strong, keep pushing into the earth, round through that upper back. Feel the intensity and then let it go. Left foot lands to the top of the mat, right foot to the back of the mat. And then we'll take one halfway lift and lower. You can take this deeper into your Pasarita fold if you wish. You can play around with arm variations. I'm gonna interlace my fingers behind the back. Just have an opening through the collarbones here. Again, I'm not forcing myself to go all the way down into you know, my full range of flexibility. I'm just having a feel into the shoulder blades. So I'm lifting the hands up and away from the spine. And that, feel, that feels more useful than trying to create a certain shape. Okay, and then when you're ready, a couple of hip glides from side to side. And then we'll take it back into that opening through the pelvis. So when you're ready, find the center, turn your heels in and your toes out, sink your hips down nice and low, forearms go on the insides of your thighs and you're pushing your knees wide. And then as you push your knees wide, lift your tailbone so you feel your glutes engage and then lift your chest so you feel your back muscles engage. Yeah, have a stretch with this, lover. <laughs> Good, and take a breath into your pelvis. And then release it and sink into the back knee to glide yourself all the way forward into the low lunge. Okay, then we'll take it through those side reaches again. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, lean to the left. Sweep it forward. Inhale, rise again. Exhale to lean. Sweep it forward. Inhale to lift. And as I'm lifting, I'm lifting the pelvis. And then as I'm leaning, I'm pushing the pelvis forward and down, just slightly. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean and pause. Good. And then lean the belly forward. And again, you can bring the fingertips down for support here. You can challenge yourself and have your hands off the ground. I'm shifting the weight forward into the left foot to float the back toes. And then here I'm going to just practice the hands staying off the ground as I come into standing splits. So I bring the fingertips behind the left calf. And just allow my body to find the balance. 
Focus is steady, breath is steady. And wobbles are allowed to be there. And then when you're ready, bending the left knee, bending the right knee in towards the chest, rounding up, coming into your standing balance, sending that right heel forward. Grow the spine, relax the shoulders, engage the core, strengthen the right thigh, stay with the feels here. And then when you're ready, bend the right knee, bend the left knee, get the belly low, reach forward through the fingertips, through the heart space, back through the toes, to land sweetly into the lunge. Where we inhale, high arms lift up. Exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, keep squeezing to land the right hand all the way down, top corner of the mat. And then we're finding the side plank. This time toes turn to the left. Pushing in, find your position. So wherever you are, wherever you're good is fine. But keep pushing the, the right hand, the right foot away from one another. And then delicately landing the left toes behind. As they land, bend the knees, then drive from the bent knees into a deeper wild thing, maybe a wheel, maybe not. Coming back when you're ready. Hmm, have a sigh, have a release. Let all of that go. And then come rounding all the way forward into the high plank, into the upward dog, bend the elbows. And then land your knees and glide it all the way back. Come back into your child's pose. Let's take a cleansing breath together. In through your nose. Exhale, sigh out the mouth. Ah. Let the sigh soothe your body. Release the energy. Release the effort. And slowly steep you into that sense of softening, Deep, peaceful relaxation. Hmm. So I'm going to make my way onto my back. And you could do the same. You might feel you want to take it through some wheel or some backbend practice. We've done lots of opening to allow that to be comfortable in the body. Or you may just feel baked like me. <laughs> and in that case, you can take rest. You can chill. You could maybe come into a hip opener, come into a twist. I'm feeling good. I think I'm just going to chill in Supta Baddha Konasana and then soften into my Shavasana. I'm going to let the video roll, but please just do what you feel is right for you. Do what feels good. Don't do what you, you know, you're forcing yourself to do. Really nurture yourself at this time. And just let your practice end in a, in a way that feels complete, yeah? So I'm going to make my way into Supta Baddha Konasana. I'm going to chill here for a few breaths. I'm just going to focus on exhaling long. So I'm really aiming to help the nervous system release. So if I take an inhale for four, three, two, and one, then I exhale for eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. And I do that a few times just to bring everything into that sense, that space of calm. You don't have to do that count, maybe you do three and six, maybe you do five and ten, but whatever you inhale for, you double the length of the exhale. So just find what works for you, repeat it a few times until you feel everything soften and release. my legs out into Shavasana, take out the final fidgets, start to relax my breath, release any final parts of or points of tension, it's always my forehead that releases the last, I'm like constantly looking confused but I just have to remind myself to release that tension in my face. It might be somewhere else in your body. So just have a quick scan, have a quick check. Encourage those places to let go and allow yourself to fully drop here. Again. Allowing yourself to be heavier on the ground, to take up space. And notice how it feels to be held 